My name is Amanda Miller. I'm doing a show called One Breath Then Another, an interactive yoga show. It's a solo show. Okay, so it began as a book, and the book is structured differently than the show. The book is chronological from me being age three until 26, um, and the show is 26 with some flashbacks. So in the book, it, uh, leading up to the ashram, there's really a lot of information about my relationship with my father. We were very similar. We both had these self-destructive tendencies, um, had depression, anxiety, and we both struggled with food. And uh, my dad ended up getting lung cancer from smoking for like 30 something years. And I remember when he got that diagnosis and then died two months later, it made me realize that people do die from self-destructive behavior. Um, which at the age of 17, which I was when he died, I was I, you know, in that invincible state of being young and not thinking that I could actually do that. Mom, um, I made this program for dad's funeral. Um, on the front, it says the Surgeon General's warning. And then on the back um, are the things he said to me a lot. Be careful. Don't forget to take your key. Call when you know what time you'll be home. Let's go for a walk. I love you. It was something that I began in grad school and I worked on for a couple of years. And as I was working on publishing it, I was working with this interactive performance ensemble where we brought audience members up to stage to become the main character of a story um, that we improvised. And it was so impactful for these people to be involved in the actual story um, that it got me thinking about, oh, that would be cool to like do a show where I bring the audience into the experience by having them breathe and move their bodies and chant. Um, and so I started working on that. Raise your arms up by your ears, palms facing each other. And you're going to sink down, squeeze everything together into a little tiny baby chair. This is Utkatasana. Good. So really reach, but keep your shoulders down. Good. Keep breathing. Try not to torque the back. And exhale, fold forward. As I'm telling this story of, of my training to become a yoga teacher, I bring the audience into the experience as if they're participants in the yoga teacher training. And I have this like this crazy, well, she's not crazy, she's just very enthusiastic Indian lady who's old and her name's Purnima and she is just so excited about every single exercise and she does a lot of the audience engagement um, at the beginning especially. And it kind of evolves more into my character of myself actually interacting with the audience. Um, and I thought that by doing that, maybe I could bring them into the experience more and, and instead of just tell them what it was like, have them feel what it was like. Uh, and also making the point that, th that the story I'm telling is, is re relevant to all of us. You close the eyes. You inhale and you slowly raise the palms 